True View Podcast. A bunch of different views. <laughs> The boys keep it real, man. I really like listening to them, man. They funny. Yeah. Son. They really speak their truth. What the hell was that? <laughs> year, year, year. <laughs> what it do? What the business is. What's good? It's your boy, Mel. And we are back in this building again, bringing that barber shop to the box office. Oh, shit. Oh, God damn it, man. I didn't shot the guy. Motherfucker. Uh, True View Podcast. Mother. Yo, oh. I am the I am hyphen X, man. Thank y'all for tuning in with us, man. Damn. That's gonna be alley to my guy. Oh, god damn it. I come on unarmed. Ruiz Yosef back in the house. Appreciate being here. Appreciate everybody. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Hope no one got injured. Oh, man. Y'all know my what it is. Y'all know who it is. Y'all know who y'all tuned in with, man. Is we too god damn how you get that headphones on with this TVP shit? boys, man. We back in the building. Let's oh. Go it. oh my god, Jesus. Thank you. All right, now, man. Uh, cheers, gentlemen, to a good show. Let's... Oh yeah! <laughs> Yeehaw! Oh. All right, y'all. Well, why are I stuck in the old wild west? I'll tell you. <laughs> well, today we're covering. The outlaw, Johnny Black. What is that, you might ask? Well, I'll tell you this. Hell bent on an avenging the death of his father. Johnny Black vows to gun down Brent Clayton and becomes a wanted man in the process while posing as a preacher in a small mining town that's been taken over by a notorious land baron. <laughs> the outlaw Johnny Black. Let's dive into one thing I will say is I appreciate period pieces, and this pair gave me something to look at. Period. Jill Scott. Look at me now. Look at me now. Oh. 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 <coughs> Ooh, sorry, I get all choked up. Uh no man, I, I appreciate these types of films, man. These black exploitation films. Uh, I, I guess you can call it a Wild West version of Black Dynamite. It just it, it takes me back to the old westerns that I used to watch. Also the black exploitation films that I used to watch as well. And it meshed it well together. Um, this movie wasn't meant to be taken too seriously. And like the 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 little hints of subtle topics that he was touching on, like you know, holding on to that vengeance, but it ain't what he say. I was I was carrying hot coal, didn't realize it was just burning myself. That's some shit I see, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just the simplicity at it. Simplicity. Is that what made it great? The, dude, it, yeah, because this is definitely one of these movies that where I like to say I can cut off my brain. I ain't got to think too hard to watch this damn movie, man. It is. It was just funny. had had some decent action in it. Uh, they shot it in that old school feel. Yeah, man. It, it reminded me of these old westerns again. Like I don't. I don't know how y'all felt about it, like, but, but. Yeah, I'm. Hey, Melly Mel, I'm right there with you. Like, it reminded me of like westerns that I used to watch with my grandfather, but like. You know the funny version, like if you were to poke fun, poke fun, poke fun, poke fun, poke fun. You know, and that's that's what I enjoyed about it. Like you said, like turning your brain off and just relaxing and chuckling at the things that are happening. And you know, this was a different time in America. It was really, really like lawless, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I know what you're saying. Funny. Um. Oh, he's back. All right, go. Oh, we, back. we got it back. Hold on. We got the, the satellite fees coming back. Space shuttle. Oh, goddamn. There we go. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, they do not want him to get his point across. He back though. You back? He ain't back. The, 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 the bullshit. The bullshit meter was going off the charts, people. That's why he's getting cut right now because you know both of you guys. I mean, I just got to say it because I know we're at the look at me, but I mean, Zoe's with me on this. What fucking so pause, Western movies? Wait, you hold on, hold on. Just, why don't you just wait till we get to the, the short bus? List. I want to hear A to Z. Just wait till we get to the short bus. Just wait till we get to it. I mean, I mean, I'll say this. I'll say this. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. I like the flashbacks in this shit. I like the storyline in this shit. You know what I'm saying? I like the actors in this shit. You know what I'm saying? I like the, the, the whole <laughs> cowboys and Indians in this shit. It was a good, funny ass poke at Westerns with a black twist. Loved it. No, I, I can I can't disagree with nothing you said. From that perspective, it, it definitely, you know, it, it it had all the bells and whistles. Um, for me, I like the way the film was shot, you know, you know, pertaining to, you know, giving us that Western vibe, you know what I'm saying? Uh you know, I like uh, Hyphen mentioned, you know, I grew up watching a lot of Westerns with my grandfather. You know, it definitely had that vibe. The pace was decent. You know what I'm saying? I can't really, you know, knock none of that as far as the way the film was put together visually. You know, it was very dope. No, nah, most definitely. It was giving me Bush Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. The Buck and the Preacher. <laughs> Buck and, you always bring it up, Buck and the Preacher. But That's yeah. No. Well, was a Preacher in the movie. I mean. Yeah, definitely. Uh, High Noon was another one. Uh, the Outlaw Josie Wales, which I think they pulled a lot from from that movie for this one. But no, man, it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of westerns and stuff that they patterned after. You could tell that it wasn't just you know it wasn't just you watching these westerns as a kid. Like, damn, man, when I grow up, I'm gonna make me a western movie. That's exactly what they <laughs> up, got some money. And he didn't made him a western movie that time. I, you know, I gotta give it to you know. I did. I mean, I did enjoy the way the the film was shot because, like, it reminded remind me of a grindhouse film, as I mentioned earlier in the clips. I mean, it, you know, I like that vintage style of graininess, 60s, 70s style, like filter or whatever they did you know, throughout the whole film. And then, uh, you know, I, I'm not familiar with like the westerns. You know, I mean, I've seen like you know, my grandparents or my father's watching it, but I don't ever knew what was really on. But like, you know, you see that style of film. But I mean, the, the the cast they had on here was huge. So they put all that in there, and with all the outfits and the costumes, you know, and everything that goes into it. I mean, there were some horses in there. I mean, pretty cool stuff. So you know, I did do, I did do, but I, you know, I, I liked it. I liked that part of the aspect of the film, and it was funny. I mean, you can't take it too seriously. I mean, it is. Obviously, absolutely hilarious. Every part of it, every part of the conversation, the sex scenes, I love it. The indirectness, the uh, the preaching partners of it. The, the, I mean, all the whole the whole spiel here, man. I didn't know Michael J. White. I mean, does he direct a lot of films? I had no idea. Is this something he does? Or I mean, I'm not like I said, I'm not educated. In this. I want to say he had his his hand in uh, Black Dynamite as well, but I don't think he directs a lot of movies. But I know he's been trying to get this motherfucker out for a while. And they've been kind of blackballing him. <laughs> hey, no, uh, <laughs> but he finally got it off, man. And I was excited. That's why I brought it to the pod. Like, hey, man, we got to do this one. But as far as other movies that, I, you know, I said it was a Western meets black exploitation. If you've seen movies like Dolomite, Trouble Man, Black Shampoo, you had like, oh, God. Black Shampoo? What's black that? Sh oh, yeah. See, check it out, man. I'm going to Google that right now. Hang yeah. <laughs> Yeah, take out coffee. It just sounds coffee. great. Even the Shaft movies back in the day, goddamn it! Like those, those, all of these are black exploitation movies, and that, that's where this genre. So, is. so like, like, like Foxy Brown and like you said, like the Shaft and all that. That's mm -hmm. that kind of style, like this kind of style film, I guess you would say, like that sixty seventy style. Yeah, most definitely. So it, it's definitely a callback and paying homage to. I guess they they meshed them both together here in this movie, where you got your western and your black exploitation together. But it was it was beautifully done to me. I, I really enjoyed it. Like but, I enjoyed the uh, the brotherhood between Johnny and Percy. You know, some you know sometimes it pays to be the Percy. Artist. What Reverend Percy? That's the Re Percy. He's the the Reverend. Oh, Deacon? Deacon, 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 Deacon. Oh, Deacon, Deacon, Deacon. Okay. Yeah, and Deacon, and his relationship with who? <laughs> and who was he? <laughs> Deacon, Deacon, Deacon. Oh, okay. Right. Like I like I like their dynamic, like the understanding. Like he stayed. He did have to threaten him a little bit. He threatened him a little bit. Uh -huh. But he stayed the course. You know what I'm saying? And he still ended up. Let's watch God. And he still ended up what he came there for. 
the girl. You, you, you know what I'm saying? He got the booty. He got them cheeks. He, he got <laughs> his wife. Somebody else. She thought it was somebody else, but the Lord blessed. But the Lord, what the Lord intend is what the Lord intend. So she, so she wasn't a whore anyway. <laughs> that's a, that's all. That's all she thought. Oh Lord. I'm a the, the dialogue was great. I mean, come no, on, all the little things. It was talking about buttering them biscuits and the cream. And I was like, oh, my Jesus. That <laughs> shit was hilarious. hilarious. I love it. It got me excited. I was like, oh, loved my goodness. It. Church folk. And then, man. Church and folk then I love Jesse Lee. Jesse Lee's so fine. You know, you, know you know speak saying? about this. If you're the, you know, if you're the, you know, Johnny Black in there and you're over there and she, you got, you know, you got her, you know, the sister, I don't know which one or whatever, the, you know, the beginning go all over you. Are you going to be able to contain yourself? You know what I mean? Are you, I mean, you're already going to buy them the church for the money anyways in the beginning. They, I mean, you're, you're a goon. You're gonna, they you're, poke you're, fun at that as well. Like when he was, uh, the scene where he had his shirt off and it was in the towel, he was knocking over stuff with his heart on, I guess. <laughs> like, <that's, laughs> was hilarious. But, I was like, geez, bro, yeah. wow. But the man had self-control. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I mean, I mean, for being an outlaw, you know, and Mr. Johnny Black, you know, a badass, you know, like he can't some control. I mean, can, I mean, you as a man, can you would you control yourself like that? I mean, you, you, for all you know, this guy's dead. You know, what I mean, he's he's gone. He's never coming back. You're the Reverend now. The man. Well, well, no, no, he, want, he wanted the other one. He never really was an outlaw. <laughs> he was a stereotype black man. Like that was horrible. What? What was right, the he, so black he, man in right, the, the, the West End? He ain't do. You right. Yeah. He never did anything. <laughs> he, he was just riding through, like, oh shit. He's like, oh uh, damn. I guess I better get. He riding through, and got and he got in trouble. He's like, oh shit. Oh wow. wow. What'd you say? Riding you, wild black. Hold on, you're you cutting know, through. Damn. <laughs> damn, that's a rename, boy. I'll tell you, that's one thing we ain't gonna come up short so on. The, the bullshit meter's coming out again. But it's then, static. And then I love Tommy Davidson in this. The way, <laughs> Thank you. The way his the way his face was scrunched up every time he talked, being the angry black man and shit. The thinking angry black man. I think that was the old ass angry black man because that yeah, that's, that's, that's pain. Pain. <laughs> that was pain. That <laughs> shit was funny <laughs> as hell. Like he, oh my like he, God. he gonna play his part. He gonna play his part. He gonna play it every time. Said, don't don't. I had to look. I had to look who that was because I swear I thought it was somebody else. I was like, I was like that was Tommy Davidson. I'm like, I mean, that is it was it was great. Oh man, no, we definitely weren't coming up short on the uh, cameos in this. Shout out to Jill Scott too. You wasn't coming up short on nothing but fabric for her. Who was that? I can tell you what to do, baby. Come here. <laughs> wow. Well, a lot of people don't get him that excited. So who who is this? Explain. Who is one of these beauties? Okay, guys. Short bus. Let's go. Yeah, he's like, oh, we're going right to a segue there. I was like, who's this? Hey, boy. Hold on a second here. The, the look at me went by like in like 20 seconds, I felt like. Because I'm like, I was like, I was ready for the Oscar performance. Okay, so we go to it. There's a score of four, you know, 4.85. We're not going to say it was well, score, but whatever. I yeah. gave a 4.8. I gave I a 4.8 conversation. I gave it a four out of five. Yes. I gave it a 3.25. Right, so now we're in the short bus for me with the short bus. No, I want to hear from 2.5. <laughs> no, I'm gonna Wait, kick it off. I'm gonna get mine out the way. I'm getting his off, man. <laughs> yes, this movie was enjoyable, but black exploitation and western is just not my cup of tea. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I felt that. You know, I could have enjoyed it a bit better, you know what I'm saying, if this storyline was done in a serious manner. Mm. Yes, it was comical, you know what I'm saying? And yes, I enjoyed the comedy in it, but I felt the pace of the film would have been better if it was on the serious side. And that's just my opinion, you know what I'm saying? That's understandable. I can, I can, I can see that. But I think if you take it on a serious side, we're going to get more of a the harder they fall type feel from it. True, uh, which is basically the same story, except it's just in a serious manner. But Michael Jai White, I feel like he just does these types of films tremendously. And I, th I think he done it well. But I mean, it's all opinionated, though. That's why we got a bunch well, of views, right? 
Yeah, I mean, I didn't know, even know that he did like movies like this. I mean, or, or was in, involved with it. But you know, as far as this movie getting my score, my two point five. I mean, this is not a blockbuster. It's, it's below average. I mean, I'm not gonna say you know, it, and I've been consistent with my score of just how I score movies. You know, I mean, uh, I think it was too long. I mean, I believe it should have been ninety minutes. Or, you know, what I mean, no more than that. Uh, you know, because it's kind of predictable the storyline. Uh, you know, but you know, there's, but the twists were funny. I mean, it's a comedy. I mean, I laughed my ass off. There's no doubt about it. I like the movie. Uh, but to give it anything higher than average, uh, the storyline is, is just dragged out. How long does it take for Johnny Black to shoot somebody or, you know, figure out this investigation? Then you got the Rough Riders kind of like a little aspect. You have, you, have, you have such a big cast that I just feel like they weren't used better in a storyline that would make it more interesting for being at over two hours of movie. I mean, it was definitely over two hours. You know what I mean? And you had brilliant talent here. You had a lot of good tough guys that played the part. Um, you know, I like the sister Betty, you know, with her presence there. You could have used her more, you know, to have a storyline. Uh, instead of just dragging the scenes out like a like a like a like a western movie i guess i don't know if that's how they are but the long scenes and a long you know watching them uh, on the horses uh, through the backgrounds you know i don't know that's like one of my biggest aspects is the pace wise you know of why i scored it low uh but they had a big cast in here i mean even like for the russell peters in here you know as the big chief i mean like i said it was funny he did a great job you know but you know there could be a little bit more to it i guess uh you know, you really didn't see too much of, and the way uh, Reverend Piercy escapes from the Indians, you know, what I mean, did it have to be? Did it have to be forty-five minutes long? I mean, did it have to? You know, what I mean, did it have to, you know, we knew. Can he just get already get away already? Can we? Can we? Can he finally get to town? You know, that, that is a short bus. Now that you brought that up, they could have used a real Native American woman, man. They didn't have to put a dude in a dress. I think I think it was supposed to be funny. And, this and, and I think it was supposed to be making fun of those time periods when white man would play every yeah. character. Yeah, <laughs> I, I understand that. That's cool. But, but did they have to use a, a real Indian from India? Could they use a real Native American? <laughs> it was the wrong Indian. No, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> that was great. That's uh, I appreciate. But no, man, give me like a give me a Native American woman. No, we saying too much of this shit now. Like, let's <laughs> let's cool out with this shit. Come I, I think that was done to, to poke fun. Yeah, yeah, um, I'm, I'm sure it was. So I just want to make sure I get this right. So for a movie that oh, here we go, guys, get ready. Action comedy western. We were up. We were let down because it, a it wasn't serious. It wasn't like a suspense or a thriller. And what was what was the other reasoning? Oh, it was too long and drawn out like a western. Is that correct? <laughs> Why is that? It's not a blockbuster movie. Wait, I mean, what do you want me to say? I'm just asking those over here. Hey, listen, that's right. Those I'm are just asking opinions. We're yeah, right. I, I, I didn't say anything about it. I just want to make sure I understood you. I don't see why that's so positive. Hey man, we're not we're we're not gonna we're not gonna look at it how hype actually looked at it. You know whoa, saying? whoa, I what well, well, God? Well, I don't see why I'm being attacked. I just asked, I just want to make sure I understood. I just want to make sure I understood where you were coming from. If you don't know, you ask questions, right? I'm just trying to be sure. That's it. Please. I mean, it's it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a guy getting revenge. Oh, you killed my dad. Okay. I'm going to, you know, 50 years later, it takes you that long to, you know, get all this trouble. You're going to find this. I mean, I, I get it. Okay. It's not a blockbuster. Just get the girl, drink some booze, you know, have a little church, do a little prayer, oh, find Jesus, all, and, and everything is all good. You definitely want to make sure you carry a Bible around in, in your chest pocket because that's what motherfuckers can get shot at. Like <laughs> the Bible has stopped a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? The, the word of God, God. Right there, right there in the breast pocket. <laughs> that saved you. God is mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I just don't think we should be judging a hamburger to a steak dinner. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's all, no, oh, you should have this. this, this is the same both beef. Why, why beef is beef. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They both beef. It's, it's about how it's presented. You prime or you want the USDA? Not, it's you not the cut of meat. That, I guess that kind of let me know where y'all at. Because that's not you the same beef? cut of meat. Hey, you got beef with bread. Which which one? <laughs> or spaghetti <laughs> or something. Yeah, like know. hamburger meat, a rump roast, and a steak are not yeah, all they, the same. There ain't no meatloaf. No, no. No, no, no. That's all I'm saying. But go ahead, guys. I'm just. I, I mean, that was a good, that was a strong two point five argument. I'll give it to you. You don't. You don't mm -hmm. think that the hamburger and the beef and the what you say the rump roast or whatever mm -hmm. they not uh they they not interchangeable. 
No, they're not. Inter- they're they're uh, not interchangeable. <laughs> they're all. They're all beef, but they're not all the same cut cut of meat. Well, okay, so we can we can swap out some meats then, huh? Yeah. Okay. Everybody. I mean, but I'm thinking the same shit. You know what I mean? Like, I think it was two point five. Flopping this shit out. It, this should have so, been Robert, Robert, if Robert Rodriguez had his hands on this, like a grindhouse with okay. Michael okay. J. White. There we grind. go. Oh, you now, you swapping out the director? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. And, yeah, I mean, Michael J. White still being the film. I liked what he did because I mean I like it. He's I mean I didn't realize he was hilarious. I didn't realize he was oh, that dude, funny. He, I just yeah. I just knew him from Spawn and a couple other movies like you know always oh, a prison no. fight movie whatever movie he was in that prison fight escape or whatever I don't know he was always he's always doing some martial arts and badass kick your type yeah. uh, ass type yeah. shit. You know, like, what's his snipe snipe? <laughs> Man, if, if, if I'm forced, if I'm forced, if I'm forced, I couldn't hear that. I don't know if that was a shot. I couldn't hear it because they got cut out. Uh-huh. But um, I would, I would take this whole cast. If I, if I was forced Damn. to take this whole cast out, I will replace them with the whole cast of the Jamie Foxx show. What? Who the fuck's on the Jamie Foxx show? I don't even remember. Wow. No. So there's there's Jamie. Uh, there's no. Braxton. No. There's Braxton. Yeah, uh-huh. I would. Oh, oh no no! It's my opinion. No 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 no! The opinion is wrong, sir. <laughs> no no <laughs> no no! That's a, that's a bad opinion. It's not good. It's not good. Get this shit out of here. No no! Swap out the one Mexican in the movie with Fluffy. The one Mexican. Yeah, Why Mexican. Fluffy? What the fuck? <laughs> we can't get Fluffy. He, he's more popular Mexican than me. Yeah, at least you could put him in as a bartender or something. He would have been a great. Uh... Yeah, Fluffy would have been funny. He could have added some shit to it. That's so funny. Uh-oh. Of course, uh, you know. Of course, y'all know. I'm. I'm. A, I'm a always trying to throw in uh, Ryan Reynolds wherever I can. He can uh-huh. go ahead. He could go ahead and take. Ooh, Ryan Reynolds. See, he yes. don't even know which character. No, 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 no. He wouldn't be the main. Why he wouldn't be the main star? Then why he won't? Because he's not gonna be the Reverend. I mean, no, nah. he, oh, he could have been the reverend. That would have been. Oh, huh? I guess so. I mean, he, but I don't want to take that work away from a black man. Give it to to Ryan Reynolds. I, I man, he would have done so a good job. That. Why you even bring him up? Goodness, <laughs> I just want y'all to know that I'm always thinking. <laughs> always. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm thinking. Like, well, Ryan Reynolds. Like, I, like, I, I like. He's uh, gonna be in the film, but I gotta bring some sanity back to this shit. So like, right. Tony Tony Baker. Like, I like him as a comic and whatnot. Uh-huh. He just didn't. He it just felt like he was forced into this film. He didn't. I think I they. Kind of, I, I did think they kind of wasted him. But I think that another actor that's in the same genre as him that could have played it, played that part better, would have been Kev on stage. I think Kev on stage would have played that part a little bit better. Mm. That that's the uh, sneaky sheriff or whatever the two yeah, face the, 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 the double crossing the dirty sheriff, the one that stole the the guns. Yeah, stole the guns. Ready to sell out his own. Ready to sell out some. Yeah. I just I enjoyed yeah. I enjoyed uh, Tony Baker's uh facial expressions. Like for, <laughs> he was doing shit like with the bug eye pop out. That's what I'm saying. Like he still I'm not taking nothing away from him. You know what I'm saying? But I do believe Kev on stage would have because they got the same type of comedy. They yes, you know they, they around yes, each other. You know what I'm saying? He, but he had but Kev on stage is a little bit more uh charismatic. You know what I'm saying? Would have brought a little it, bit more life to the character with a little bit of screen time that it had. Is he a really good stand-up comedian? I'm not familiar with him, so is he that powerful? Well, they're, they're like... not. I don't look at them as stand-up comedians. They do oh, like okay. youth clips, uh, in, yeah. internet internet comedy. Yeah, they're clips. I see. You know I see. Yeah, shout but, out, shout mean, out to up. They both do do stand-up, but yeah, I, think I don't know them as that. Kev is clean. Tony Baker, I believe Tony Baker is a clean comic. But I know him mm. more from his voiceover shit, which yeah. is hilarious. Yeah. And he does the voiceovers yeah. for the animals. My God. Yeah. Oh, what wow. The yeah, my, uh, being, being a clean comedian is hard. Yeah. My first yeah. time going to L.A., this was like 2015, 2016, somewhere in there. I got to kick it with him. He was which with one, Ev or Tony? Tony Baker. Tony Baker. Okay. Erica, we, she took us out somewhere, me and uh, Terrence, but... We went to a comedy club and I chopped it up with him. I didn't know who he was at the time. You know what right. I'm saying? Um, I know he was getting his, you know, his feet into, you know, acting, but just to see where he's at now, you know, since from the time I met him. Mm-hmm. Shout out to bro, man. You know, he's doing his thing. That's what's up. 
No, that's a good look. Uh, any oh, other? Yeah, that is any other swap outs? Yeah, I mean, I, th I think, I mean, mine sounds real basic, but I think this should be swapped out the entire cast. You know, yeah. I mean, I want to say the Jamie Foxx show, but like the like the Friday cast, have the Ice Cube and DJ Poo re rewrite this. You know what I mean? Let them put their people <laughs> so in, in this movie. Yeah. Would be, you know, put some stoner shit in there, throw some weed. They had to be smoking weed back in the cowboy days, I'm going to assume, I would hope. I, I, you know, something, smoke the peace pipe. I don't know. Ah, that but, moonshine back then, boy. Woo! I was like, or something. It would have been a little bit greater, or put some uh, from Dust of Dawn peoples in there. We're good. Oh goddamn! No, I think <laughs> a couple more brothels, a couple more uh, murders. <laughs> I couldn't even breathe right there. No, I think uh, if we would have swapped them out, man, it definitely would have gave a whole nother name to the damn movie. I say. It is everyone's favorite game show. Rename that movie. Two girls, one saddle. Riding while black. Mm -hmm. one saddle. Farmer's daughters. Wagon wheel. Appetites. We don't Three the hard way. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Three the hard way. God damn. I'll take both, huh? <laughs> <laughs> A nightcap. God damn it. The reverend's room. The upper room. There you go. Past the office. Mm. Two sisters, room. one saddle. Nigga, I just said that. Oh, you did? <laughs> Salty? <laughs> he didn't even hear it. He's like, like, fuck what you said. You're supposed to bullshit anyway. That was, uh, that was the first thing you said. Oh, wow. That was the first thing you said. <laughs> <laughs> And, 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 but you know when he said it, I could tell like he didn't know. You know. What I'm, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just in disbelief. Oh my god, man! Uh, that gotta be it, man. That's God keep coming in here, man. The dark <laughs> night. That's so consenting, Reverend Percy. The dark oh. night. Mm, mistaken identity. Blackout. Sounds like I got porno movies. Yeah. The black stallion. There's a snake in my boot. My love go bang, bang, bang. The love below. Jeez. Oh, preacher box. Son of a preacher man. Ooh. The saddle in the, pool. the saddle in the pulpit. The saddle in the pool. Okay. Son of a preacher man is good. PK. My daddy forgive. I don't. Ooh. Jeez. Daddy's revenge. Hmm. Daddy's Bible Daddy. blaster, the book Blood of life boy. for real. Uh, black shadow, who knows what evil lurks in the eyes of men. I'm gonna have to see this movie you sent. Black shampoo, that's what I'm gonna see. Black that's shampoo, the, that's what I'm gonna have to see. <laughs> the wild, wild west. What's for me is for me. Oh, wild, 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 wild west. <laughs> West Side Connection, Western <laughs> Connections. You said Western Connections. <laughs> Western Union. The we oh damn it! I was about to say the Western <laughs> Union. Oh shit! The heathenous ways. All right, what we got in the running? Weapon, toad, and pistol. What the? Holy rodeo. Hmm. <laughs> Holy rodeo, black man. Last holes. <laughs> <laughs> What did he say? What, what did he say when he was when he was like forced to preach and then he like was on stage or, yeah. I mean, or whatever? And then he like what the fuck did oh, he say when he was preaching? When he was preaching and he remember what his dad was saying, wherever he's like, he broke the shackles free or something. Yeah. Was, I can't remember. He said something. That's the yeah, let him loose. Let, let him loose. loose. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> let him loose. Let him loose. Hey, I'm not mad at that. Hey, I'm not mad. Even though I like two girls on saddle. This motherfucker. All right, man. The official true view renamed for the outlaw Johnny Black is. So did you get a vote? What? That was three, wasn't it? Oh, okay. Yeah, that was three. Wasn't it? Let them loose. <clears throat> Let them loose, y'all. Wait, where that one come from? I see. I knew it. I knew he didn't know shit. I knew he didn't know. Damn it. I, I knew he didn't know. That's why I said something. 
shit, fuck it. Shit. You got one to override it. You got one oh. over. Hey, he said no. I, my my oh, internet. Man, cut I, I, I knew it. My connection just got cut off. Yeah, I was rocking with I was rocking with the, uh, the two girls on Shadow and uh oh, uh-oh. and uh, what was the one I said? Uh, son of a preacher man over that. Oh, son, son of a preacher man. Okay, I like that one. I actually like the son of a preacher man. Son of a preacher man. Hey, y'all, let us know which one we should rock with, man. Wait, we no, got three for the son of a preacher man now. Yeah. No, I'm I'm going the other way. I'm back on the two uh two girls two on, on the saddle. saddle. I'm I'm back over here. I'm back over here. Well, if there's a, if it has to do with two girls, I'm already down with it. So, oh, okay. <laughs> there it is. Oh, me. There it yeah. is. There you go. There's no question. <laughs> no, you gotta be two two sisters one side, not two girls. Oh, two sisters. Oh, two, yep, two sisters one side. I'm with it. I didn't want to do it. Two sisters same side. Oh. Family rides. Um, <laughs> we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we got a family eat for free. It's about to get dark. It's about to get dark. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, man. <laughs> we're following them on Instagram right, right, right now. Name for the outlaw speak. Johnny Black is Pretty what podcast. two sisters, one saddle. Oh, I'm coming for you. Damn. And then the official, I mean, the official True View <laughs> score is boys. make sure I hit the right drop. Find out one, two, three. <laughs> Three. It is a three uh, overall. I think based off hyphens mathematics. <laughs> it barely oh. made it. <laughs> Everyone it gave a score. Me. I don't like that. Everyone gave a score. A he gave his score three. after we played our. No, that's not fair because I was just the last to give my score. I'm, I'm gonna do like prices right from now on. I'm just gonna put one if I don't like it. I'm just gonna put one. I mean, then you. He said he's gonna work for it. He go. <laughs> 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 oh shit! All right, y'all, man. Zero point one, three point six three overall. Let's hit them. Uh, we gonna hit them with the. You got thirty second elevator pitch for the recap and the recommendation. Who wanna go first, guys? If you wanna watch a movie where you can just enjoy yourself and enjoy good, wholesome fun and get adult jokes and be able to watch a good Western with a nice storyline, classic storyline about a son going and remembering later what his father had taught him as a child that helped him persevere in the end. This is the movie for you. Would you rewatch it? Would you rewatch it? Uh, Yes, I would would definitely rewatch it and recommend it. It's a great movie. Uh, that promotes uh, fatherhood, loyalty. What? 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 All right, that's it. That's your 30. That's your 30. God damn. All right, who won up? Who won up next? I absolutely disagree. Uh, what he just said, everything is all bullshit. Uh, you know, so just whatever he said, just cut it out from your feet. Uh, Outlaw Johnny Black was definitely not a hero. You know what I mean? Definitely not a father figure. You know what I mean? So don't let him fool you with all that. But it was an enjoyable movie. So you, know, you definitely want to play in the background. You know what I mean? You can, play, you can put it in the background. You hear what you talking? You hear what you talking about Black fatherhood? <laughs> <laughs> you put it in the background, having fun because it was hilarious, absolutely, you know, hysterical. One liners, every scene, pretty funny. You know, some of the scenes were too drawn out, I thought. So it's gonna be long. So that's why I say put it in the background. If you're smoking weed, drinking, having a party, I, definitely I, play in the background. It's 30. That's it. That's 30. You would you rewatch I'm it? Make it real. Yeah, I'll put it. I'll rewatch it. Would you rewatch it? Would you recommend it? Yeah, I'll recommend it. There we go. All right, so go ahead. Here we go. I'm gonna make it real short and sweet for y'all. If you're trying to find something to watch and you high, throw that motherfucker on. God damn. Would you rewatch it? Yep. And would you recommend it? Yep. <laughs> I love it. I right, well, shit. I guess it's on me. I will, for, I'm going to start off. I'm going to rewatch this and I would definitely recommend this, man. This was a good movie to just shut your brain off and just watch something comical, man. If you love movies, <laughs> Old black exploitation films, meeting the old Western films. If you love Black Dynamite, this is a Western version of Black Dynamite. So, if you want to just shut off and enjoy the movie, let's get it. Let's go, man. On with the show. This is the one for you. True View Podcast. All right. Thank y'all. 
Y'all let us know if we got that shit right or wrong, man. Y'all head on over there to TrueViewPodcast.com where you can like, subscribe, share, and comment to help us defeat that all-powerful algorithm that's trying to hold a black pie down. And thank you, thank you, thank you for riding with us over to YouTube, man. Y'all showing us a lot of love, man. But be sure to hit that bell for notifications, the subscribe button, and the thumbs up. And also share us with somebody and leave a comment, drop in the comments something that you want us to review. Because we hear the True View Podcast know that it's not about the review. But the conversation with the crew, man. So drop that in there and we will get back to y'all and let the ignorance ensue like only we make it do. You know what I'm saying? True View Podcast. Let's get it. Let's go. Hey, man. Do everything that Melly Mel just said. Talk to us in the comments. Let us know if we got it right or wrong. Do you agree with our rename or would you rename it something different? Let us know in the comments. Allude to my guy. There you have it. There it go. That, that. Be the end of the show. <clears throat> True View Podcast. I tip my hat. And just like that, y'all know what the hell we always say. All skin folk ain't kin folk. Yeah. Stay woke. Let them loose. Let them loose. <laughs> me up. Throw away the key. I ain't scared to have another Nick. Wait a minute. Whoa. Whoa. whoa what the? F hey, go watch some shit, man. What the That's fuck? It. Not that shit. Not that shit. <laughs> True View Podcast. A bunch of different views. <laughs> the boys keep it real, man. I really like listening to them, man. They funny. <laughs> <laughs>